So you wanna utilize the remarketing or the conversion tracking features of Bing Ads. Then in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install the universal event tracking tag from Bing Ads onto your website with the help of Google Tag Manager. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and normally on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, how-to videos and tutorials just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. And today we want to talk about how we can install the universal event tracking tag from Bing Ads onto our website with the help of Google Tag Manager so we can do remarketing and conversion tracking in a more sophisticated way. We've got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Today our journey starts in our Bing Ads account and here's where we're gonna send the data to that we wanna track on our demo shop. Now first thing we need to do is to get our UET tag. UET stands for Universal Event Tracking Tag that you can obtain by going into your conversion tracking here. And then you have your conversion tracking and here you have your UET tags. Let's go to the UET tag page and then you can create a new UET tag. And it will remind you that if you have already one UET tag in place, then you should be aware that really UET tags should only be deployed once on the website. It's a tag that is deployable on your whole website, just like the Facebook pixel. Let's create a new tag just to go through the steps here. You would put in a name and a description. Click save and you'll get your JavaScript code that you need to implement into Google Tag Manager. So let's go ahead and look at this information. Keep that open while we go ahead and install this into our Google Tag Manager account. Now within our Tag Manager account, make sure that you have Google Tag Manager already installed so these codes are placed on your website correctly. Then you can go ahead and implement your Bing tracking. Let's click on new tag here and name this correctly. Then click on tag configuration. And we have our tag templates here. We could use the custom HTML one, but there's actually a tag template for the UET tag as well. Here you can see it, Bing Ads Universal Event Tracking. Let's click on that. And what we need to fill out is our tag ID, which you can find right here. Let's copy that. We leave the UETQ variable the same this is the variable that our events get pushed to. Since there's no conflict on our website, I would recommend to keep this the same. Unless there are any conflicts with this variable, I would recommend to keep this the same. And as the event type, we'll choose page load. We'll get to the other events in a second. As a trigger, we click here and choose our all pages trigger. This will deploy our UET page load tag on every page. Let's save this and go into the preview and debug mode, which will put our browser and only our browser into a special mode where when we go to the website, reload the website, we will get our little preview and debug window where we can see which tags have fired. And it seems so that our UET tag fired. Now, shortly after that, we should be able to see that our tracking status changes from unverified to verified. This can take a while. So we got another method here. You can install the UET tag helper, which is similar to the Facebook pixel helper or the Google tag assistant, which will let you know whether your tags have been deployed correctly. So let's go to the page and click on this little UET icon. Let's turn this on and reload our page. And we see that there is a new message here that this UET tag with this ID has been set up correctly. Now with this in place, we can go ahead in our Bing Ads menu and configure a conversion goal. Right here, create a conversion goal, give it a name, and we can choose between these different types. Now, the type that is really possible with this tag that we just installed is the destination URL. So we can choose any kind of URL, have certain matching options to say when somebody lands on our thank you page of our 
demo shop here, then please count this as a conversion. Now the option that is in here as well is a revenue value. If you have a value that is always the same, you can choose the first option here and input the amount. But what if you have an online store like this one where the basket size will vary? That's when you have to input another UAT tag for your conversions. So before we do this wrong, let's go ahead and configure a conversion tag for our demo shop. Let's go over to Google Tag Manager again. Under Tags, we go ahead and click on New. This will be for our Bing Ads. And this time we only want to fire it on our transaction page. Let's click on Tag Configuration and choose our Bing Ads tag again. Input our UET tracking ID. Let's go back and view our tag again. Here we go. By the way, you could also save this in a constant variable. And now we want to have the page type event variable revenue. Now ask us what the goal value would be. If we just enter a number, then this would be always the same. So obviously we want to transfer the actual amount over that the user has bought. For that to happen, we need to have a few more configurations. So let's revisit that. Let's save it for now. And actually step through a conversion on our online store. So I'm going to go through a test conversion. And we get to the thank you page, the page where we want to fire our tag and transfer the order amount, in this case $17, over to our UET tag. Now there are different methods in order to pick this data up. The preferred way in Google Tag Manager is to install a proper data layer. This would be done by a developer or through a plugin. We have that data available already. So here we can see there is an event called GTM4WP order completed EEC and we have all the data that we would need in order to get our revenue amount out of this data layer. How would we do this? With the help of variables. So let's go ahead in Google Tag Manager and build a new variable. This will be a user-defined variable called transaction amount and it will be a data layer variable. We'll go ahead and click on configuration here. We have different types of variables. We'll go with the data layer variable and enter the right keys in order to pull out this value. In our case, that would be the e-commerce field, then action field and revenue, all separated by a dot. Let's see uh, again, e-commerce, purchase, action field. Okay. And that should pull out the right value. Let's save this. And we could also already build our trigger that we want to use in order to fire this. There is a special event in this key which makes it unique on our page. So we know when the data is available, that's something we can use in our trigger. So let's go ahead in Google Tag Manager and build a new trigger. This will be with a custom event. And the event name is gmt4wp.order completed that are not specific to a page or a page load, but to an interaction of the user, which is really easily built in with Google Tag Manager. So let's go ahead and configure this tag. Go again with our Bing tag template here. Input our ID. And then choose as the event type, this time custom. And there's a familiar place that we see now. We can input goal value again the category action label and again a value category action label is something that Google Analytics also uses. So how can we use that? Let's click on save just to save this for now and let's choose an interaction. I already written it down that I wanted to track the add to cart click. So once we go on this page, here's an add to cart click. In order to track this, we would need to first of all go into our variables and activate some built-in variables that are important for auto event tracking. In our case, these are the click variables. 
let's go ahead and activate them once that is done you don't have to do it again for now gonna go ahead and build a generic click trigger and the purpose of this is to just find out if our interaction gets picked up correctly by Google Tag Manager. Let's go with all elements and deploy this on all clicks. Let's save this, refresh our preview and debug mode, go back to our page, refresh our page as well. And now I will click on this add to cart button with the command key pressed. So it opens up in a new tab that will help us to prevent for the browser from redirecting us on and being able to still see what's going on in the preview and debug mode. Now, the interesting part here is that there's a GTM click that happened when I clicked on this add to cart button and we'll be able to inspect the auto event variables that we have configured beforehand have been filled. And we can choose the variables that we would like to use as conditions to turn our trigger true and then fire our tag. So it only happens on this add to cart click. Now, one thing that is very unique here is the click text. It says add to cart, that's nowhere else. So if I click, um, for example, on this number here, we can see that the eighth click happened here and we see that the click text changes. So that's something I can use in my trigger in order to fire my tag. So I'm gonna copy the exact term here go over to Google Tag Manager and build a trigger. I'm actually gonna take our generic click trigger and turn it into a specific one. That means I'm gonna put in some conditions in order to only turn it true once somebody clicks on the Add to Cart button. And all I need to change is going from all clicks to some clicks and choosing the variable, click text, contains, and then our Add to Cart. That should do it. Let's save this and connect this all up to our tag. Let's go over to our tag. This is gonna be our event click tag. And we're gonna choose our trigger, which is our click add to cart. So that is configured. The only thing that is left are here the category values. Now you can put in anything you want. You can also use variables to fill them dynamically. So in my case, I'm gonna choose click as the category and I'm gonna choose a variable that is my click text to automatically fill this action. And then as the label, I would like to transfer which page the user was on while he was clicking this add to cart click. So I'm gonna go with page path here. Value doesn't have to be filled out, but you can if you choose so. Let's save this. Refresh our preview and debug mode. Go back to our page. Refresh this. Now we see our Bing add page view tag has fired. If I click now anywhere, there's something happening here in the preview and debug mode, but our click tag hasn't fired yet. But if I click on this add to cart button and I do this again with the command key pressed and go back, we see that our add to cart click has now been deployed. And we also see here in our events that there was a custom event that was fired with the parameters of our add to cart click and dynamically filled our product path here, where we are our page path that we are on. And we also have our click, which is our category. So this seems to work as expected and we can now use that custom information to build a new conversion goal or set a audience list up in our Bing Ads account. All you need to do for this, create a new list and choose your custom events and you can then fill out your category and your action and you don't have to fill out the label or the value if you choose not to. Then you can build a list based off the interaction that happened on your website. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can install your UET tags, your universal event tracking tags onto your website with the help of Google Tag Manager. If I missed anything or you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because we'll bring you new videos every Wednesday. My name is Julian, till next time.